Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Nick. I wanted to organize my sandpaper because quite frankly, <laughs> I've never had organized sandpaper. And I wanted to try out something a little bit different that I've had the idea for a while now. And that's kind of a modular cabinet. Not only modular in the sense to where I can move the cabinet around anywhere in the shop on a French cleat, but the cabinet itself is modular. It has one inch on center grooves to where the shelves can be moved, dividers can be moved, they can be added or subtracted as my needs change. But more on that later. Let me show you how I made it. I started by cutting my plywood to size. Two sides and a top and bottom. The sides measured approximately 12 inches wide by 30 inches tall and the top and bottom approximately 12 inches by 12 inches. I could then attach a small stop block on my table saw fence so the wood won't bind between the blade and the fence. I like to cut my pieces a little bit oversized before I start to actually whittle them down and make them square. Once I had those pieces cut, I could then install my dado stack into the table saw and install a sacrificial fence to bury the dado stack in. I then proceeded to cut rabbits in both the top and bottom of each of the side pieces to accept the top and bottom piece of the cabinet. I changed my dado stack to cut one quarter inch wide grooves in each of the four pieces just along the back edge to allow the back panel to slide in. It was at this time that I could also start putting in the quarter inch grooves one inch on center from one another on both of the side pieces. This was going to allow for the flexibility of me being able to move shelves wherever I needed them or add dividers. Here I just cut the back panel to size. After a dry fit of all the pieces, I then moved on to assembly putting glue in the rabbit joints, clamping it up, making sure everything was square. I could then slide the back panel in place and attach the remaining end. Being this was just shop furniture, I was just going to throw screws in from the side. A nice little trick so that you don't have to measure where the screws go but make sure that they're all in the same place. Use whatever bit or drill that you're using and just measure off of it. After pre-drilling all the holes, I drove three screws in per joint. Once the cabinet was dry and I made sure that it was fully square, I could then move on to cutting a bunch of pieces of hardboard to make the shelves. I fashioned a little jig out of a piece of scrap that was the same width as my shelf pieces. I figured if I could cut some relief notches using a Forstner bit, it might make the sandpaper easier to grab. I clamped the jig down to the drill press table, and when I started cutting, I realized that the rotation of the Forstner bit was causing my hardboard pieces to want to wander to the left. I just changed out the clamp on the left with a scrap piece to act as a fence to keep it all in place and keep it nice and aligned. I proceeded to cut 12 or 15 of those pieces. Then with some extra plywood, I could cut some other shelves that would take vertical spacers with a groove going down the center of them. I glued and screwed a French cleat in place, and then I notched out on the back on one of the ends. The only reason I did it on one of the ends is I was planning on this to be an end cabinet, so I didn't necessarily need to have a relief on both sides of the French cleat. If I ever want to move the cabinet, I'll just notch out for that as well. Then I can install all the shelves, dividers, and all the sandpaper. It's also going to house some of my circular saw and table saw blades for the time being until I can make a proper table saw accessory cabinet. So what do you guys think of the idea overall? I think it's a methodology that I'm going to have to test out for a few months, but I wanted a modular storage idea that wasn't necessarily just modular in one sense of the word. I wanted it to be modular in, in more than just one way. I mean, the first way, for example, like a sandpaper cabinet, if I find myself in three or four months wanting to sand over by the garage door and, you know, exhaust all the dust out, I can just pick the whole cabinet up off the French cleat and move it to the other side of the shop and put it on a French cleat over there. But also modular in the actual cabinet itself. I had one inch on center grooves cut 
And the idea behind this is any type of dividers or shelves or, you know, just anything is going to be one inch in increments. If I don't find myself using the random orbit sanding pads as much, I can slide this whole unit out and put it more towards the top and then move some of my larger sheets of paper down towards the bottom where I find myself using them or vice versa. So something that is adaptable to not only where I don't have to be walking across the shop going for supplies, but my most frequent supplies are within a close arm's reach. Like I said, that's the idea anyways. If it works, and if I can iron out some of the bugs that I'm sure will come up, well then you can, you'll definitely find me building more of these cabinets in this type of fashion. But that's all I have for you for this week. Until I see you guys next time, take care. Census. We won't take a census. Well, however frequently you frequent frequent things, it's sandpaper. Summertime, summer, summer, summertime. I'm trying to get this right.